I eat the banana! Hi, this is Redneck Ramblings. Thanks for tuning in to this Crazy 8 Moonshiners production. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a banana moonshine infusion. This started its life as simple corn liquor. I infused it with bananas and look at that beautiful color. Oh, it's crystal clear in there. Oh, it's a beautiful yellow color. On the nose, mmm, you can smell those bananas in there. I mean it still smells like it still smells like liquor. But you can smell those bananas. Those bananas come through really, really good. Mmm. Now on the tongue, it's corn liquor on the front, banana on the back. Now to make this is really simple. So this is the end result here. It's, it's clear. There's no chunks in it. There's no specks, no flakes, nothing. Get yourself a mason jar and get yourself some of these. They're sweetened banana chips from nuts.com. Now, I buy quite a bit of stuff from them because they have, they have good stuff. But uh, just go grab yourself some sweetened banana chips from nuts.com. Get a mason jar. Fill that mason jar half full of banana chips and top it off with moonshine. Set it in the corner a couple weeks. Let it sit there and work. You'll notice that after just a couple days, that color really starts to change into moonshine. After two weeks, which this one's been about two weeks, take it out and strain it. I use a coffee filter and just a large funnel. Strain it back into a mason jar. Get all the chunks out of it, all the little sediment in there. And you'll end up with crystal clear moonshine with banana infusion. It's good. You got to try it. Mmm. Little something else to do with all that moonshine you've been putting away for the winter. This is Redneck Ramblings. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit the little bell to be notified. Thank you, and you have a good night.